Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Bonnet, CTO at Orchestra Networks, software vendor in the field of uh, MDM and uh, developing the solution EDX5. Uh, I'm also the founder of the MDM Alliance Group community, uh, which is a community uh, working on uh, modeling procedure in the field of the MDM and semantic uh, data modeling. In this short video, I will be presenting how to implement in EBX5 MDM system the data pattern name qualifier attribute published on the MDM Alliance Group website. Uh, first of all, let me give you two words about the semantic model we want to put in the MDM system. In this pattern, we use an association holding a qualifier attribute. This association allows for defining which roles a party has in relation to a role data set. Therefore, the same party can hold several roles in relation to assets. As you can see, we don't design as many relationships to real estate business objects as possible roles. In this case, each role will have its own class with a specific relationship to real estate class. It will be a real nightmare to manage and we prefer to have a more generic and sustainable way to uh, model data. Or 4A in UML, we can represent information in a more semantic way by using high-end mechanisms such as qualifier attributes. Then now the question to tackle is how to implement this semantic model into a logical data model. As you can see, this, this is not so hard to deal with. We just have to design an object that implements uh, the association between party on real estate and take into consideration a role as an additional foreign key. Therefore, we obtain the party role real estate logical object holding a composite primary key and compasses party real estate on the role. So now we can jump to the EBX MDM tool and have a look at its uh, data model. First of all, it's important to understand that uh, EBX5 is a model driven MDM solution. It means that what you will watch uh, now is automatically delivered by the tool from the data model. I didn't use any HTML or Java software development to implement this pattern. In other words, EDX5 is highly user-oriented, even though IT specialists can use more features to customize the MDM and depending on their uh, needs. So, um, go to the part data model and I uh, take the real estate repository and uh, here you watch the data model I created five tables let's see the table party role uh, real estate that contains the qualifier attribute the role which is a foreign key associated with the two other parties on real estate. We can have a look at the definition of this table and see that a more user-friendly label is used, namely view party role on real estate. Here. As you can get, this part of the tool is used to declare all data models without any skill in schemat schema, which is the internal standard used to store data. Obviously, it's possible to generate XML schema from this modeling, and the opposite is straightforward. It means upload a predefined XML schema to the tool. Now we can jump to the data governance part uh, as our data model is ready to use. Now I am in the data governance part, the basic part, uh, it means data authoring. We can look up each business object in our model and you can see that the table with the qualifier table appears with the user label, view party role on real estate. Then let's see the content of real estate. I authored a short list of real estate, very uh, basic content. Now we are opening the party and we see some parties for my demonstration. 
We also have a look uh, now, uh, for example, at the table role. This is just a list of rows a party can hold in relation to a real estate asset, such as uh, rental, lesser, owner, etc. More interesting now is the table containing the qualifier attribute. As you see, this is a more complex table as it contains relationship between party, role, and real estate. For instance, we see that uh, the building 441 is in relation to three parties uh, which are in corporate Peter Fryer and the not-for-profit Owata organization. In this example, Peter Fryer holds two different roles in relation to uh, this building 441. Here's the car uh, park manager and the cleaning manager. Obviously, Peter Fryer is not duplicated in the MDM repository. He is just associated to two different roles in relation to the building. This screen is a roof tabular presentation of data. Now I will show you how the MDM is able to automatically hide this joint table and then present a business user navigation view through foreign keys. This is also known as a data hierarchy. In the view menu, we have three ways to view data by party, real estate, and roles. Let's see the view by party. The first level shows the party and then we can drill down into the model to discover building on role. For example, uh, regarding Peter Fryer, we see how he is linked to real estate asset and with which rows. It's the same thing, of course, for other parties such as uh, Don John, Bank of Investment, in Sustainable Office, etc. Now let's see the view by real, asset, real estate. The first level shows now the real estate uh, asset. Um, if I opening the um, if I open the building 441, I will see an access to data about parties and roles played. Amongst the list, this list we see Peter Fryer and his uh, two roles, namely car park manager and cleaner manager. I can open uh, the data hierarchy for the real estate. Uh, the real estate asset Crystal, Chris Slayer building or a Galaxy building, second sector, etc. Finally, uh, let's uh, have a look at the view from role. Now, the first level shows the role. If I open uh, Car Park Manager and the Cleaner Manager, I get information about Peter Fryer, of course. If I open another one, such as Owner, I get other data. These three different views are automatically managed by DBX5. The user can customize many options to meet requirements without any software development. Let's see the configuration path for the view by road, for example. So you have first screen with different options to, uh, to manage the dimension of the data hierarchy and uh, moreover you also uh, manage how labels and uh, order of formation are uh, uh, presented on screen and uh, also filter to have more uh, detailed access to information. Moreover, data hierarchy is not only for data querying. Just take uh, an example. At any level of the data hierarchy, a set of services, for example here, allows for move node from its current position to another. Here you can understand that the tool allows for moving, detaching, deleting, etc. data from one hierarchy to another. Beyond the scene, IDX5 uh, uh, maintain uh, automatically all foreign keys 
and uh, align uh, those foreign keys uh, depending on uh, how we move our detach uh, data. In EBX5, a lot of other data governance functions are automatically available, such as permission management, workflow management, version management, and so on. Version management is named data space, uh, modeling the workflow, data workflow management, etc. To test this tool, I invite you to use our cloud computing MDN platform at smartdatagovernance.com. You can upload the data pattern I presented during this record and then start your journey in data governance driven by data models. I hope this video will be helpful for you uh, and looking forward to seeing you in our MDM Cloud Computing soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.